We're out here Eastern Bass Challenge today. 68 boats on the pond, on the river, actually. Been had a lot of rain, it was a little high, a little muddy. We're gonna see if we can't get in them. We'll check back in an hour. I 
think we might can catch them after and get Watch that man in the front of the boat. He's about to go Ike.
We just got on a, a shad massacre spawn crazy insano house. Got four right now. We lost a few in that pad field over there. We fixing to wrap up with number five in here. We're gonna move on. Number five. Right out of that ditch right there. Lost number six. I think he would have helped us a little bit. Probably a lot of bit. A couple old swimmers in there. We're gonna we're gonna keep plugging. Got a lot of daylight left quarter to ten right now so we're fixing to run on up the river and get in a little more mud see if we can't strike a little up Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, guys, a little update. It's been a grind, man. We out here in the river, gonna see if we can't plug up old Big Noggin. We ain't got much, 12 pounds with the bag. So we got to get a Mufasa here. We're gonna sling a sangria worm around, a little hand poured action, a little stud curl worm, see if we can't drag one out of here. Last stop of the day, pushing two o'clock. Got an hour to get them. How you feeling? I'm ready. He's ready. ready. To use that net again. He's ready to use the net. I told him I got that eerie feeling. <laughs> you know what happens when I get that feeling. All right. We got some fatties. Hey, we need some information on Table Rock one, one day when you ain't doing that. <laughs> I'm serious. What do you like that dude? What is that? Uh-huh, I'm sure. You must thought I was talking about here. Where is it going? That was that small. That was that boy's small. You said that boat number was 32? 32. 32. Boat number? 28. Aren't you the prime fishing boys? <laughs> yeah. Alright, hey, hold that bag right there for me. <clears throat> Appreciate you fellas fishing me. Now. You got a decent bag here. Yeah. We lost a couple we needed, but that's how it goes, you know. That's that fishing, is. that's why I call it fishing, not catching. Okay. Let's see if we can find 15 pounds in there. Maybe. Probably not. 1380. Uh, what better than you think? Five fish for 1420. 1420. Okay, right, let me dump them right back in the back. Make sure we get a fish. That might pick you in the money, I ain't for sure. You're in it right now. And the verdict is tiny whip. Tiny whip. 14.20. What did it take to win? 20.98. Enough for 10 four piece supreme dinners. Took 21 and change to win. 19 something for second, all the way down to 14.10 to get a check for 12th place. And so you'll see there with 14.20, Josh Brown, Kyle Smith, 11th place for a whopping $90. 
I came up here yesterday, had about 21 pounds, and I spent at least $90 in gas just to get up here. So we ain't made snot. We broke a $200 rod trying to catch 14 pounds. It cost us about 6000 but we have. Yeah, we snapped the rod. We caught some fish. We caught some catfish, blackfish, perch. You name it. White perch. Blackfish. We caught everything. Except for large mouth. <laughs> We got everything except what we was after. But anyway, it's always nice to get a check out it. We got some, some, uh, had a good time, good weather, hot as do do. But the next one is next month, or he said a couple weeks. I gotta look at the schedule, but Noose River, Eastern NC, in July. It should be on. Hope it don't rain. Hope the water's a little low, real clear. It'll be on, Jack. Anyway. We'll see y'all next time. Next Saturday, we're going to be on the noose for the Bojangles. So we're hoping that river comes down a little bit because it's real high and getting really muddy as we speak. We'll see you next time on Prime Fish.